Hey everybody, welcome back to Hustlin' Halls. Um, crazy day at the Goodwill. 17 albums, hundreds of dollars worth of uh, albums in here. Just crazy. Most of them look like they're from the same collection. We're going to start out uh, this Tristan signed album, Near Mint. Um, just accepted an offer for $12. Wanted to get a little bit more, but you know I bought it for a buck. Takes a little bit longer to sell because it's kind of obscure. There's nothing on Discogs on this album at all. So uh, he offered me eight, I said 12, he said sold. So shipping that out today. But let's start out this Flash album, very nice cover. Um, this is easily a $10 album. This is why you scan everything. I typically use Discogs uh, to look at valuations. This is Sealed, the Steamboat album, Factory Sealed. And this is why you scan everything, because this is straight up uh, valuable on Discogs. Seven people have it, four want it. There's four for sale from 20 to uh, I think around 40 bucks. eBay has one. The guy uh, wants 64.99 for it. No sold comps. So I'm thinking I could probably get. I'll shoot for the moon on this. I could probably uh, maybe get 100 bucks for it. All right, this is a kind of a crazy looking album. Like I said, a lot of these look like they're from the same collection. This is a $5 album. Um, this is kind of a cool one right here. Um, let's see, 119 people have it, 88 want it. Um, you know, this is this is about a $20 album too, but it has the, the whole cut, so that's gonna take a little bit away from the value. This Jack Bonus, this just looked funny. Um, Jack Bonus, that's a that's a five dollar album. The back is hilarious too. Ugh. All right, so Bob Dylan, this is not an original. This is a reissue. Um, this is a twenty dollar bill. This Bruce Cockburn, never heard of this one. It's a five dollar album. Side of the Road Gang, it's interesting because it has the same cut. You know, that's a $5 album, too. Now this Buzzy, this album, um, it's a double. Or wait, no, it's only a single. Just a gatefold cover. It's a $10 album. We got Lazarus, Fool's Paradise. $10 album, too. John Henry Kurtz, Reunion. Kind of an interesting album. Haven't listened to it yet. That's $5. James and the Good Brothers. We're looking at a $10 album right there. Uh, Jethro Tull, Aqualung. It's a classic album, love this. $10 album too. Uh, Mason Williams, this is actually, I've seen this pop up a couple times, I got them both times. This is a really cool album too, I love it. Um, it's a $5 album, five to 10. Now this Jeff Lorder Fusion, again, this is why you look up everything, I would've probably just pass this up but you know it's five to ten dollar album and then here is the grail of the lot and uh, this Billy Joe uh, shaver old five and dimers like me I looked it up and uh, almost you know fell over 320 feet people 324 people have it on discogs 576 people want it the medium price is a hundred bucks. The high is two forty nine. There's five for sale from one twenty nine to five hundred and five dollars. Now this is in uh, VG plus condition. So like I said, this is this is an easy two hundred dollars right here. Just it's just crazy. And then finally, Rush uh, Crest of Steel could probably get twenty five bucks for this. So you know, for seventeen bucks plus tax, everything was a dollar that I bought. It's like 450 bucks. I mean, obviously, you have to like list it and take the time and all that. But, you know, it's been a long time since I found multiple triple digit records, CDs, etc. in one go. So, again, you know, you just scan, scan the weird stuff, scan the stuff you've never heard of. Sometimes it, uh, it comes up and, and, and you're surprised. So, um, you know, take the time. You don't have to scan everything. You know, you don't have to scan the Barbara Streisands and all that. No offense to Barbara Streisand or her fans, but you know, just just uh, really do your due diligence and have some fun out there.